just wanted to start with an event that happened uh, probably in 1460 in a country called Belgium in Europe. There was a man by name Reynald III. He was the Duke of uh, Belgium and he has a brother by name Edward, his younger brother. While Idhar Majina fighting Jargindi, our fighting law, the younger brother took over the elder one, Reynald, and he took over the kingdom. But Edward did not kill Reynald. What he did was this. He built a castle. You got it? He built a castle. And uh, the castle was built in a place called Newkirk in Belgium. That's a huge castle with lots of windows, but only with one door. With only one door. Reynold III was called Crassus. Crassus in that area means fat. He used to be very fat. He's a lover of food and he used to eat a lot. So what he did was this. He put him in that castle, but with only one door, which is very narrow. And he said, I'm not going to close this door or lock this door and you are free to come out anytime. What, you are, what all you have to do is this. You need to starve yourself for a few days and you need to get through this door. That's all he said. And Reynold was there in that castle. And what Edward used to do is this. Every day in the morning and in the evening, he used to provide him very delicious food. This man, Reynold, he loves food and he could not restrict himself from eating that food. He used to eat it and he used to be inside that castle. For 10 years, 3 months. Got it? 10 years, 3 months. Edward used to say like this, I haven't made my brother a slave. He is absolutely free. Anytime he can walk out. The moment he walks out, I'm going to give this kingdom to him. And he can rule. That's what he said. But Reynold could not come out of that palace for 10 years, 3 months. Because he was a prisoner of his own appetite. Do you know why I said this uh, story? This man, Reynold, was in that castle waiting to come, <coughs> to come out, but he could not come out. He died inside the palace. There are some people who are struggling with habits. There are some people who are struggling with different kinds of lifestyles which they don't like. They want to come out of it they are not able to come out of it. They think that God has to do a miracle to come out of it. Some people wait only to get worse in their lives. Waiting to get out is more difficult to get in that you should understand. Waiting to undo sometimes becomes very, very difficult. Think about your own life. Are you waiting to do, to undo something in your life? What you have developed over a period of time, ni jivitam lo anvayinch kunna twenty oka alavatu, oka buddhi, oka chaddadi. You know it is wrong and you want to come out of it and you are struggling for it. My friends, to get away from what you are following, to stop what you are doing all these years, to cut off, to put off, to say no to the toughest, that is the toughest in this world. My friends, if you are able to undo something, doing becomes <coughs> very easy. But what I want to say is this, whether it is doing or undoing, whether to stop something or to start something, whether to get away from something or to get into something, we need the help of God. And for both, we need waiting. And that is the concept which I want to present today. We are struggling. Amidst struggling, waiting to be transformed. Amidst struggling, waiting to be transformed. That is the message I want to give now. My friends, as the passage has been read to us, we will look back into those two verses today. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. The English Bible starts the 12th chapter with the word therefore. Whenever there is a word therefore, we should understand. The previous passage has something to do to this passage. It is in connection with that, that therefore 
are kabati is a connection word so what paul was trying to do very quickly i will try to retrace the first 12 11 chapters and very quickly look into these two verses paul was in a city called corinth and he had a desire to get to rome because rome was the capital of the world at that time the cultures the politics the education the sports the philosophies everything evolved out of this one city called rome so paul was very much desiring to come to this city to present the gospel because if the gospel reaches rome it reaches the whole world because we have statements like rome is not built in a day because it took nearly 700 years to build this city all roads to all roads lead to rome because the rome city called rome is on seven hills and it's considered to be the center of the world at that time so paul wanted to come to this city it was his desire but he was not sure therefore when he was in a city called corinth there was one sister by name phoebe who was actually traveling to rome so he wrote an epistle and gave that epistle to phoebe and that's what we have as the epistle of paul to romans it has 16 chapters and if you start looking into this epistle it start off starts off like this it goes with a basic introduction and then he straight away starts with the issue the issue hey guys the main issue is this what's your problem what's the problem of humanity why we are like this why we are not able to achieve why we are not able to be peaceful why we are not able to enjoy our life so paul deals with that issue the problem of humanity and he says it is sin that's the issue number 1 and then he says is there a solution for this is there a provision for this and then he comes to the second concept called the salvation of humanity sin is the problem of humanity salvation is the provision of god in jesus christ that's such a issue number 2 and once you are saved what's the issue you go through a kind of a struggle and in that struggle you have the power of holy spirit to be a sang- be a sanctified person So issue number 1 is sin issue number 2 is salvation issue number 3 is sanctification and then he presents the sovereign of sovereign will of god how this salvation came into the humanity so chapter 1 to chapter 3 is sin and chapter 3 towards the end to chapter 6 is salvation from chapter 7 to chapter 8 is sanctification and chapter 9 to chapter 11 is the plan of god how the gospel came to jews and from jews to the gentiles and from the gentiles it is now going back to the jews so the 11 chapters he gives us the theology the doings of god the doctrine of christianity and then he presents how that the, the whole concept of salvation came to humanity the, the the plan of god and the provision of god the first eight chapters it gives the provision of god to problem of humanity and then the plan of god in the 9th to 11th verses having given this doctrine what he does is this in the 11th chapter verse 36 he goes into a kind of a doxology which is very huge far from him and through him and to him all things to him be glory forever ayana moolamnu ayana dwaranu ayana nimittamnu samasthamnu kaligunnavi yuga yugamulaku ayanaku mahima kalugunu gaaka amen so what we have is this first we have the doctrine that is what god has done for us then we have doxology for that we worship god we adore god we look at god and say wow first is this doctrine then it is doxology having presented that doctrine having given that kind of doxology now he presents to us our duty our duty devudu man kosam em chesadu modati enimidi adhyayalu devudu idantha e vidhanga chesadu ఆ విధమైన చరిత్రను మనకి ఇచ్చాడు దాంతో దేవుణ్ణి ఆరాధిస్తున్నాడు దేవుడు మన కోసం ఏం చేశాడు సిద్ధాంతం దేవుని యొక్క ఉనికిని బట్టి దేవుని యొక్క గొప్పతనాన్ని బట్టి దేవుణ్ణి ఆరాధించాడు ఇప్పుడు మన బాధ్యత ఏంటో చెప్తూ ఉన్నాడు సో ఇట్స్ ఫస్ట్ డాక్టరీన్ దెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డాక్సాలజీ అండ్ నా ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆర్ డ్యూటీ సో ఇన్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ డ్యూటీ వాట్ వీఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు లుక్ అట్ ఈస్ హౌ గాడ్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు మాడిఫై ఆస్ హౌ గాడ్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ ఆస్ 
I want to really thank the choir for singing that song Kummari Kummari. A part of part than a blue. I was really worshiping God. God, I understand it is the same Holy Spirit that is working amongst us. That is why this song has been chosen for this message. And I thank the person who is actually um, uh, uh, um, coordinating this uh, program. He was even mentioning that as an individual and as a group, God has to deal with us. మనం ఒక వ్యక్తిగా ఆలోచించిన ఒక గుంపుగా ఆలోచించిన ఒక క్లే లాగా ఆయన దగ్గర ఉన్నప్పుడు గాడ్ మోల్డ్స్ అస్ గాడ్ షేప్స్ అస్ అండ్ వాట్ వీ క్యాన్ డూ ఇస్ వెయిట్ అండ్ సీ దట్ గాడ్ క్యాన్ డూ అ వండ్రస్ థింగ్ ఇన్ అండ్ త్రూ అవర్ లైఫ్స్ దేవుడు తన మన జీవితంలో ఒక అద్భుతమైనటువంటి కార్యము జరిగించాలని మనం వేచి ఉండాల్సిందే సో మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ దట్ ఈజ్ వాట్ హీస్ ట్రైంగ్ టు ప్రజెంట్ హియర్ ఇన్ దిస్ Now let me look at this verse I appeal to you therefore brothers by the mercies of God kabatti sahodarlara devuni vaatsalyamunu batti memmunu batimalu konuchunnanu batimalu konuchunnanu ane telugu padam probably it may not be the right translation if you try to look into the greek terminology of that verse the word appeal is more or less a word that is used in the courts in the legal atmosphere where you can appeal for the right thing where you can appeal for justice where you can appeal for what you are entitled to now paul is trying to appeal to the people what on what basis he is appealing to the people he is now saying hey guys i have presented to you the mercies of god i have presented to you the love of god i have presented to you the grace of god i have presented to you the goodness of god i have presented to you the work of god i have done all these things now that i have presented all of that may i now appeal to you to do this for god దేవుని కోసం ఇది చేయడానికి నువ్వు సంసిద్ధమా సో దాట్ ఈస్ ద బేసిస్ దాట్ ఈస్ ద కనెక్షన్ బిట్వీన్ ద ఫస్ట్ లెవెన్ చాప్టర్స్ అండ్ దిస్ ట్వెల్వ్ చాప్టర్ వర్సెస్ వన్ అండ్ టూ నా ఇఫ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు డ్రా ద హోల్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఐ క్యాన్ డూ ఇట్ ఇన్ ఫోర్ లెటర్స్ ఏబిసిడి ద ఫస్ట్ లెవెన్ చాప్టర్స్ ఇట్ గివ్స్ ద యాటిట్యూడ్ ఎ క్రిస్టియన్ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ అండ్ ఫ్రమ్ ట్వెల్వ్ చాప్టర్ ఇట్ స్పీక్స్ అబౌట్ ద యాక్షన్ దట్ ఇవాల్వ్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ the attitude is the basic thing and the action is the peripheral thing and the second one is the belief what you get in the first 11 chapters and behavior is what you are expected to have now the first 11 chapters gives you the creed and the from the 12th chapter you have the character the first 11 chapters gives the doctrine and now it gives the duty what we are supposed to have comprehension of what god has done for us is the 11th chapters and the commitment we need to have is from the 12th chapter my friends if you are a child of god if you have experienced the grace of god if you have started tasting the love of god if you have seen the mercy of god showered upon you my friends you are bound to have a kind of a lifestyle what god is expecting us even for that lifestyle to evolve alanti jeevana saili mana jeevithamlo utpannam kavadaniki we need to wait upon god so that we might be transformed taneka roopamuloki marcha gadagalu marcha padagalugunattu aina sannidhyamlo manam vechi unda baddulamai unnam i'm so happy for this topic called waiting that's one issue that's one word the present world hates we can't wait but god says unless and until you wait i cannot work on you no vechi unte tappichi ni jeevitham meda nenu pani cheyalenu ani devudu adugutu unnadu my friends the mercy the grace the love and the kindness if you can think about all those things my friends waiting for some time in his presence is not a big deal i want to present to you a lady by name francis ridley havergal francis ridley havergal she died at a very tender age she died probably when she was 48 years she wrote several songs several songs take my life and let it be consecrated lord to thee a lot of few people who are seniors definitely know this hymn it's a very famous one but i'm not going to refer about that but i want to speak about another hymn which she was not intending to write but it became a very famous one 
One day, Frances Ridley have a goal. She has seen a painting, a very wonderful painting. And the painting is of Jesus Christ dying on the cross. And his two outstretched hands underneath the cross, the painter wrote these words. I have done this for you. What have you done for me? Frances Ridley have a girl, has seen that picture and she was very much moved. She comes back home, sits at the fireplace and she was looking into the fire. She, without much con consciousness, picks up a paper and she decides to write a poem. Poem based on the memories of that picture she was having. She writes a poem and she reads it. She was not comfortable. She was not happy. She thinks, how can I expect to write about this great sacrifice on a piece of paper? And she folds that and crumbles it and she wants to throw it into the fire. As she threw it into the fire, the paper did not go into the fire. It missed and it fell beside. And she forgot. She left that place. Her father who was a presbyter, who was a pastor. He came into that room, saw this paper. He picked up the paper and he read the poem written by her, by his daughter. And he thought it's a very wonderful piece of work. He kept it aside and gave it to a composer. And he developed beautiful came out of it. And it goes like this. I did this for thee. What hast thou done for me? I gave my life for thee. My precious blood I shed. Thou hast, that thou might ransomed be and quickened from dead. I gave, I gave my life for thee. What they have, what hast thou given for me? Some of you people who are seniors definitely might have sang, sang this, sung this hymn so many times. This was written by Francis Ridley Havagal. Do you know why I reminded this? When you think of what God has done for you, Waiting at his presence, waiting for him to work on you is not a big deal. The first 11 chapters, it speaks about what God has done for us. Please try to get this word. The first 11 chapters speaks about what God has done for us. Devud manokosum enche sado modri padakunda ajaya lo nade. Pannendo ajaya modri vachna lo. It begins where God wants to do in us. Manalo, they would in chedals konad. Manalo. Now he wants to do inside you without your cooperation, without you working with him, without you waiting upon him. He cannot do it. He cannot do it. Outside you, he has done everything. Jesus coming into this world, it's over. <coughs> Jesus dying <coughs> on the cross, it's over. The salvation made ready, it's over. Holy Spirit sent into this world, it's over. What all is needed to save you has been done outside you. And now, once you accepted that word, once you accepted that message, once you accepted Jesus Christ into your life, now what Jesus says is this, okay, can you be there? I want to work in you. I want to work in you. Unless you allow Jesus to work in you, unless you allow the Holy Spirit to work in you, he cannot work through you. Now these are the three levels. Working for you, salvation. Working in you, sanctification. Working through you is service. Hope I got, hope you got it. Working for you is salvation. Ni kosum ayana chesina karyamu, rakshana. Nilo ayana chese karyamu, parishuddhata. Ni dwara ayana chese twenty pani, paricharya. Ni jivitun lo price chitta makalakunda. Nilo parishuddhata lekunda. They would need no word quality. God cannot use you. So, my friends, we are in the middle part. The middle part where God wants to work in us. They would manalo paniche danki. So, for God to work in us, we need to allow to work. <coughs> that allowing to work, that allowing God to change us, it happens when we wait upon Him. When we wait upon Him. So, what is the basis of the commitment 
to wait what is the basis of commitment to the to wait the basis is god has already worked for us god has done everything for us devudu samastham man kosam chesadu he gave his life tana jeevithanni man kosam pettadu he has given everything for us so that is the basis of commitment to wait nin enduku wait cheyali enduku wait cheyalante ni kosam ayi chachipoyadana ni kosam ayi pranam pettadana ni kosam samastanni ayana vadulkon raavadaniki ishta paddadu parlokanni andukani ee roju nenu adugutunadu can you commit yourself just to wait wait na degara undadaniki nu ishta padutunava so that is the whole thing now having understood what is the basis of commitment to wait now we are looking at the character of that commitment character what kind of character to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to god which is your spiritual worship parishuddhamunu దేవునికి అనుకూలమైన సజీవ యాగముగా మీ శరీరములను ఆయనకు సమర్పించుకున్నాడని సమర్చించుకున్నాడని ఇట్టి సేవకు ఇట్టి సేవ యుక్తమై ఉన్నది ఇట్టి సేవ యుక్తమైనది ద వర్డ్ ఆఫర్ సమర్పించుకున్నది ఇస్ బేసికలీ ఏ ప్రీస్ట్లీ వర్డ్ ఎ వర్డ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆఫన్ యూస్డ్ ఇన్ టెంపుల్స్ దేవాలయాల్లో ఉపయోగించేటువంటి పదం సమర్పణ సమర్పణ ఈజ్ ఆల్వేస్ టోటల్ nobody offers an animal or offering and takes back evaru goda bird nichi mali teesesukor oka goat nichi mali teesesukor oka sheep nichi mali teesesukor when they give it's gone forever so always sacrifice is complete it cannot be half hearted every christian is expected to be totally committed to the lord there should not be half hearted commitment in the same way when you want to wait in the presence of god you cannot have two minds lot of christians have this problem i want to come into a very practical realm chaala kriya seelakamaina twandi amshamuloki vasta unnan how many of you go through this agony of not able to concentrate reading the word of god not able to concentrate to pray prarthana chese adapudu meeru ఏకాగ్రతలో ఉండలేకపోవటం మీరు ఎంతమందిని ఎంతమంది అనుభవించారు యు ఆర్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు కాన్సన్ట్రేట్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు స్పెండ్ ఫ్యూ మినిట్స్ ఇన్ ద ప్రెజెన్స్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ అలవింగ్ గాడ్ టు డీల్ విత్ యువర్ మైండ్ సోల్ అండ్ హార్ట్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ స్ట్రగుల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వరల్డ్ వేర్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ ఇన్స్టాంట్ ఈస్ టు వెయిట్ వీ కెన్ నాట్ వెయిట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ పెయిన్ఫుల్ మెనీ పీపుల్ థింక్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫూలిష్ రై deva deva anukunte em avutadu ra you do something we cannot keep quiet we cannot hold ourselves we must be action oriented we must be doing something we must be running we must be jumping we must be building we must be destroying we must be doing something we cannot keep quiet manam undalem but many a times god says if you want me to work can you just allow me to work you are not allowing me to work what can i do for some people to take away hands and to wait upon the lord it's impossible to commit yourself to waiting is like sitting on the thorns it's almost sitting on the thorns my friends but let me tell you one thing when god wants to work on you he takes time he takes time i want to give you a comparison so that you can understand in the whole world if you can try to count the number of stars the number of planets and all those things are there as far as the scientists are concerned they say like this if you are able to count one star a second it takes 26000 years one star a second it takes 26000 years that many stars are there that many planets are there in this world in this world but my friend to create this huge huge galaxy god took only one sentence and a second it took only one second think about all the animals 
thousands of species it it took only one second and all the trees kinds of plants we have it took only one second it was god was able to create everything in one second but when it came to adam i don't know how long it took it definitely is not one second the bible says he had to take mud make an image and then breathe into it and it became a living being now when it comes to you and me we were formed in our mother's womb in 9 months 10 days it took that long it took that long if the physical body needs that much time how much more our spirituality needs to take a formation to take a shape god says <clears throat> there is no shortcut the only thing what you have to do is this you have to allow me to work on you my friends when god is at work we are expected to wait waiting is to be in the presence of god but now i want to tell you one thing when you are waiting in the presence of god you are not alone have i made it clear when you are waiting in the presence of god you are not alone you might be wondering yes i know i know as i'm waiting i'm waiting at the presence of god yes you have the presence of god there's no doubt about it but at the same time there's somebody who is there to disturb you that's devil that's devil so waiting in the presence of god is a warfare waiting in the presence of god is a struggle a loving god to work on you is a struggle devil always tries to find the ways to disturb you my friends the greatest hindrance the greatest problem the greatest struggle is this when you are in the presence of god what devil tries to do is this devil tries to shift your eyes from the giver to the gift from the giver to the gift when your eyes are on the gift not on the giver the moment you get the gift you forget the giver god gives us certain things to change us into good not to throw us away but how many times your mind was on the gift I want to give a very classic example from the life of david david was anointed as a king <clears throat> when he was probably a teenager and after few months or days or i don't know whatever it is he had to fight with goliath and uh, goliath was killed and everybody was speaking great of david and uh, saul already realized that david is anointed by samuel and he was having an eye on david he wanted to kill david for several years saul was chasing david there was one occasion where david was in a particular cave saul came into the same cave he could not find david but he was so tired and he was sleeping now just imagine if david was thinking like this hey you know god has anointed me as a king now here is the opportunity i will kill this fellow and i'll become the king he could have done that but david did not do that do you know why he waited on god god i don't want to spoil your game plan i don't want to mess up with your action plan nu em aithe chestanao dan nunchi nenu chadagottalani anukotledu when you are waiting in the presence of god you are expecting four things from god number 1 god's direction number 2 god's timing number 3 god's blessing number 4 god's strength number 1 god's direction number 2 god's timing number 3 god's blessing and number th- number 4 is god's strength so when you are in the presence of god what actually you are supposed to present presenting your body mi shariramulanu ayanaku samarpinchukonadi my friends the greatest hurdle for us is our own self mana jeevithanni paadi cheskodaniki bayat ekkado ledu samasya manulone unnadi 
it's our own body i'm speaking about our physical body our physical body craves for so many things god intended this body to be the temple of the holy spirit but we gave this body to so many things but what god says is this if you are willing to allow me to work on you allow the holy spirit to work on you you yield yourself to the holy spirit you yield yourself to me as people living in the western world you understand what do you mean by yield when you are getting on to a highway and when you are waiting there the word that is found, found there is yield what do you do when you are yielding when you are yielding that's definitely waiting in expectation when i can go in it is responding to the signal that is there it is waiting to surrender to the orders so waiting is expectation waiting is responding waiting is surrendering and that surrender is total and that's why it is called sacrifice my friends we need to yield ourselves to god and that is exactly what waiting is i'm trying to define this word waiting i'm trying to define this concept waiting waiting is not wasting waiting is with lot of expectation waiting is willing to respond waiting is willing to surrender waiting is willing to sacrifice all believers are called to wait upon the lord all believers all believers you get this point all believers if you are not waiting you are not a child of god every child of god is expected to wait upon god prati vishwasi goda devun yokka sanidhyamlo vechi unda badrudai unnadu if you are not willing to wait you are not the child of god people who are fully committed are often called by the lord for services evaraithe paripurnanga devuniki samarpinchukuntaro వాళ్ళని దేవుడు వాడుకోవడానికి ఇష్టపడుతూ ఉన్నాడు చాలా మందికి ఈ ప్రాబ్లం ఉంటుంది ఏమనంటే ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఎ పాస్టర్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఎన్ ఎవాంజలిస్ట్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఎ మిషనరీ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ ఎ ఫుల్ టైమ్ వర్క్ సో ఐ హ్యావ్ ఎ డిఫరెంట్ లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ కమిట్మెంట్ నో ఎవ్రీ క్రిస్టియన్ ఈస్ బౌండ్ టు బీ కమిటెడ్ టు గాడ్ ఎవ్రీ క్రిస్టియన్ ఎవ్రీ క్రిస్టియన్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ కమిటెడ్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ చైల్డ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ వెయిటింగ్ అపాన్ ద ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ చైల్డ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ నువ్వు దేవుని యొక్క స్వరము విని దేవుని యొక్క మాటకు లోబడే తత్వము లేకపోతే కనుక నువ్వు దేవుని బిడ్డవు కాదు కమాన్ లాడ్ టెల్ మీ వాట్ షుడ్ ఐ డూ దాట్ ఈస్ ద ఇంటెన్షన్ ఆఫ్ వెయిటింగ్ వేచి ఉండటంలో అది ఉద్దేశం సో ప్రజెంటింగ్ యువర్ బాడీస్ అన్నప్పుడు హీ యూజెస్ త్రీ వర్డ్స్ హోలీ లివింగ్ అండ్ యాక్సెప్టబుల్ లివింగ్ సజీవమైనది సెకండ్ వన్ ఈస్ హోలీ అండ్ ద థర్డ్ వన్ ఈస్ యాక్సెప్టబుల్ in some verses it is called pleasing parishuddhamunu anukulamaina sajeevamaina let us look at the word sajeevamaina living in the old testament sacrifice is always killing you got it if you kill that's called sacrifice you kill it and throw it off but there is one example in the whole old testament where the sacrifice happened but uh, still living do you know when it happened when abraham was called by god hey abraham I gave you a son. Yes, Lord. I want you to do one thing. Yes, Lord. Tell me what should I do. You talk, go to that mountain range called Horeb and go on to one of the mountains I'm going to show there. Bring your son there. Okay, Lord. Okay, Lord. I'm bringing it. And you need to sacrifice your son there. Okay, Lord. Okay. That's waiting upon the commandments of God, instructions of God, directions of God. He walks. He walks to that mountain range, Horeb mountain range. <clears throat> and then moria sorry moria mountain range and there he says god says yeah, this is the mountain on which you need to sacrifice your son he goes with his son on to the mountain and now he lays his son on that wood i kattal meda tan kodukunu padgo petta he is not a small kid he is a grown up guy isaac he was able to carry the wood that was sufficient to burn him tan tagala pettagaligae atundi kattal mosko ni konna meda kelladu aina so apaina unnapudu both the son and the father have already committed themselves in their minds tamaka hrudayallo tamaka manasullo devudiki samarpincharu now this man abraham mm, picks up that knife and he was about to chop off his son and god says stop 
in the heart the sacrifice has already happened but both the son and the father walk alive coming down it is called the living sacrifice they gave up in their heart they gave up in their heart that's what paul says into the uh, to the uh, in the letter to the philippians nen batukunna kuda chachinodatha samanam ayana vishayamlo batukunte kristu chaavaithe melu nen kristu kosame batukuta okala batakadan chance la chachipotanante endukante ayana degiriki velipovalanadi he totally gave himself to god devuniki paripurnanga tannu taanu appaginchukodaniki ishta paddadu my friends that is the living sacrifice god is not expecting you to die but he is expecting you to live for him to live for him are you willing to live for him when you live for him you die to this world devuni kosam batakali anukunnapudu ee lokam vishayalo nu chachipotam i was a drug addict when i accepted jesus christ the first few weeks was a huge turmoil for me traumatic for me spasmodic pain <clears throat> not able to handle myself but i went through that struggle because i said to myself i i'm not going to pump in into my body that drug again i'm not going to pump into it pump it if i have to die i'll die because i need to live for jesus ese kosam jeevinchalani i know it's a huge struggle but i want to live for christ క్రీస్తు కోసం బతకాలి అనేటువంటి తపన టు గెట్ రిడ్ ఆఫ్ మూవీస్ టు గెట్ రిడ్ ఆఫ్ స్మోకింగ్ టు గెట్ రిడ్ ఆఫ్ డర్టీ లైఫ్ స్టైల్ టు గెట్ రిడ్ ఆఫ్ డ్రగ్స్ ఇట్స్ ఎ ఛాలెంజ్ బట్ మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ నాట్ ఏబుల్ టు టేక్ అప్ దట్ ఛాలెంజ్ యు ఆర్ డెడ్ యు ఆర్ డెడ్ గాడ్ వాంట్స్ ఎ లివింగ్ సాక్రిఫైస్ నాట్ ఎ డెడ్ సాక్రిఫైస్ విల్ యూ బి దట్ living sacrifice for that change to happen in you you need to wait in the presence of god to get the direction from god to get the strength from god to get the power from god to get the will power from god that's what i got and i spent time in the presence of god if you're not able to invest your time to think through you cannot work you cannot work it out so number one is living number two is holy the word holy can be well understood by this generation people who are living in 2020 because the word that's used in 2020 is quarantine quarantine if you get covid 19 you are quarantined that's all if if there is a doubt you will be you are quarantined that's all so in the same way that quarantine here is a negative concept but i want to use it in a positive way if you are a child of god you have been quarantined from the world you have been quarantined from the world so that is the concept of holiness holiness demands sacrifice holiness is always holy w h o l l y for a man to sacrifice something he uses tongs patkar vartam kada patkar tongs there are two andrew morey he uses this beautiful concept he says when you when you want to sacrifice to god what you have to do is you need to carry that animal with two tongs rendu unnatundi rendu chethulu unnatundi patkar upayogichar he says one is devotion the other one is discipline devotion is what you are linked up with god discipline is what you have linked up with your own self unless these two are working you cannot you cannot you cannot be holy you cannot be holy joseph was willing to go into prison because he was disciplined and he was devoted to god daniel was willing to risk his life to get into the den of lions because he was devoted and he was disciplined my friends what about you when you're waiting in the presence of god you have that discipline and devotion so it's a living sacrifice and it's a holy sacrifice and the third one he says is it's pleasing and acceptable when it is holy and when it is living let me tell you god consider it as a sweet aroma a sweet aroma my friends it's a complete sacrifice it's not half hearted half commitment is illogical irrational idiotic 
when you say everything belongs to god that's all there is no compromise you give everything you give yourself to god so my friends we have looked at two concepts the basis of commitment it's all his goodness and his mercy and that's why we are waiting at his presence the character of his commitment it is living it is holy and it is pleasing now what is the demand of the commitment to wait what is the demand do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of his of your mind this is where i want to dwell more upon do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind my friends the way to the body is mind the way to the body is mind when you want to restrict anything in your body or when you want to adopt anything into your body it should work in your mind verse one speaks with the body but verse two speaks with the mind do you know why he speaks with the mind at in the verse uh, second level because he says unless you control your mind you cannot control your body to control your mind you need to sit at the presence of god that's where waiting works that's where waiting works when you wait in the presence of god when you gaze into the glorious presence of god when you are touched by the spirit of god my friends your mind becomes so strong self control sober mind that comes into you when you have that sober mind when you have that self control you are able to control anything in this world as far as yourself is concerned so the way to the body is mind he first speaks about the negative way do not be conformed to the world do not be conformed to the world if you can work on the mind of a person you can win the body this is what your body wants what you want to watch what you want to eat what you want to drink what you want to touch what you want to experience this is the whole issue my friends this is the whole issue that is the huge struggle today in the present world there is a lifestyle there is a lifestyle and you are often drawn into this kind of lifestyle you are you have become entangled there chikkukupoyav aa jeevana sailulo dantlo nunchi bayitiki raavadam chaala kashtam anipistadi when you are living in this world when you want to wait in the presence of god my friends the way you talk the way you behave the way you dress the way you perform in your office everything looks odd to others everything looks odd pratidi kuda vichitranga anipistadi baita prapanchaniki because this world enjoys evil this world lives on group opinions not your individual decision it's a group opinion 10 mandi em chepte adi nen chestanu 10 mandi ela unte nenu ala untanu nalugurtho kalisi nenu elipothanante lokamuto povali manu manu ontriga unte batakalem if you are all alone we are swimming against the stream we cannot swim across that is what you think but my friends heroes don't go along with the stream stream hero avvalanukunte heroine avvalanukunte stream gunda kottukoni elipovatu you need to stand and god says when you stand there i am there to give you the strength neeku shaktini ivvataniki nenu unnanu my friends are you trying to get approval from the world you cannot be approved by god there are two systems the world and god if you want to get the approval of the world probably you get the denial from god that's a huge challenge but let me tell you one thing sir what you are telling i can understand but my struggle is this i want but i am not able to na kavali na chaata kavatledu nenu odileyal anukuntunanu odallakapothunanu nenu cheyal anukuntunanu cheyalakapothunanu na concentration ledu na ekagrata ledu if that is what you are saying my friends I want to tell you one thing you can you can you can what you all you have to do is this allow god to give you the strength 
it's not by your strength it's not by your will power kashtapadi cigarette mane eto rendu rojul adi nee will power kashtapadi pornographic sites lok velakunda untam anedi few days it's your struggle it's your struggle it's your struggle but if you give yourself to god and say lord i'm handing over it over to you you take it you take it if you are able to allow god to handle he will do it oka two days kritham oka ayana naaku phone chesadu i don't want to tell from where he called me and he said sir i want to help from you i want to divorce my wife he said i said what's what's the problem he said my wife has an illicit relation are you presuming no 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 sir i have proof and he went on to narrate what has happened he said like this i'm a teacher in my government school one day i was very sick so i took permission and i came home and my wife is inside i knocked the door she opened and there was a man with him i heard but now i saw and when i asked my wife do you know what she said yavandi nenu chadda danandi nannu nodileseyandi nannu marchipondi nannu nodileseyandi when i heard that story do you know what i am trying to hear i can't leave this sin can you leave me i can't leave this habit can you leave me i know some of you who are listening to this message today you're going through that kind of struggle in your life ni jeevithamlo alanti struggles konda velthunnaru i don't know what kind of habits what kind of lifestyle what kind of issues you are going through it has become a habit and you don't know how to undo it you don't know how to come out of it my friends my friends i want to tell you that's why this message has come to you if you can wait in the presence of god you will fly like an eagle you can fly like an eagle isaiah chapter 40 says pakshi raju vale rakkalu vastai neeku you will fly away the way jim reeves sings the song you can fly away there will be no entanglements nobody can pull you down nobody can pull you down you need to wait you need to wait in the presence of god now having said that negative side now he comes to the positive me manasu mari nootana maguta valana roopantaram pondidi but be transformed by the renewal of your mind transformation doesn't happen outside it happens inside if the transformation is inside it is from god it is not what you have accumulated it is not what you have adopted it is not what you have added outside it has come from within it has come from within my friends it's something like this when you have an egg and when you allow a hen to sit on the egg for hatching nothing happens from outside it only provides the needed heat and sits there waiting 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 for 21 days and after 21 days a beautiful small little chicken comes out you are like that egg if you allow the holy spirit to hover upon you if you allow the holy spirit to hatch you the life comes out the life comes out this is called transformation the word transformation can be easily understood if you understand the word metamorphosis that happens from within you know the caterpillar the dirty caterpillar after a few days the caterpillar gets goes into a kind of a cocoon it's called pupa and right from within the pupa comes out the beautiful beautiful butterfly but let me tell you one thing there are many caterpillars 
they are killed before they take up the pupa stage yes i don't want that to happen to you you are a caterpillar allow the pupa to happen in the presence of god so that the beautiful butterfly may come out and this renewing of mind the positive sign but be transformed by the renewing of the mind what 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 exactly happens the basis of commitment is god's mercy the character of commitment we need to give a living holy pleasing sacrifice the demand of the commitment is we need to get rid of the worldly desires and totally be renewed in our mind and what is the effect that by testing you may discern what is the will of god what is good and acceptable and perfect without waiting in the presence of god you cannot know the will of god you cannot have the will of god without the word of god you are waiting actually <coughs> on the word of god the word of god is the egg and the waiting is nothing but the hatching and when you are hatching the word of god the will of god the life comes out the wisdom of god that is the life that comes out when you have the will of god when you have the wisdom of god that is based on the word of god that has come to you because upon the waiting on god you will walk with god i don't know whether you understood this or not here is the word of god and you are sitting on it that's the waiting and the life that comes out is the will of god the wisdom of god when you have the will of god and when you have the wisdom of god you walk with god you're walking with god if you're walking with god you're a hero you're a heroine whole the world is on one side you are not moved you are not moved because the creator of the world is beside you the creator of the world is with you the creator of the world is for you he is beside you he is with you he is for you he is on you he is in you the world cannot shake you the world cannot take you away what a great blessing it is my friends my friends that's the beauty of waiting in the presence of god when we wait in the presence of god do you know what happens he reveals his will hey guy this is what i want you to do and he also gives you the wisdom to do that will he also gives you the strength to accomplish that will he gave you the will he gave you the wisdom he gave you the strength and now you work accordingly and you're walking in the light of god in the will of god in the wisdom of god in the strength of god and when you are doing it with absolute confidence my friends you are a blessing to not only yourself but to others but to others but let me tell you one thing before you start waiting there is somebody waiting for you do you know who is that isaiah chapter 64 verse 4 from of old no one has heard or perceived by the ear no i has seen a god beside you who acts for those who wait for him there is a god who acts for those who wait for him tana koraku kanupettu vaani vishayamai neevu tappa tana karyamu safalamu cheyu mari e devunni evadu ne kalamunu chuchi undaledu atti devudu kalanna samacharam manushulaku vinabadaledu there is a god he says here there is a god who is waiting to work in you it is in the mind that controls the body it is the word that controls your mind and it is the spirit that gives you the spirit control therefore it says like this you need to sacrifice your body you need to submit your will you need to give sufficient food to your mind that is the scripture sacrifice is to the body scripture is to the mind submission is to the will my friends and this can happen when you wait in the presence of god i want to give you a beautiful event that happened in 1892 and then conclude there was a missionary from nebraska 
and as god led him he came to burma at that time it is called burma at that uh, but now it's called myanmar now that's one story but let me bring to you a people group by name lahu lahu people group called lahu are from north eastern myanmar they still tie ropes to say that they are bound by evil spirits they say it mammulni deyalu pattukoni pidistunai anduki taadu gattukunnam ani cheptaru and they have a they have a saying right from old chaala tharalu nunchi vaallu musala vaallu cheptukuntu vachar oka maata emana telsa oka white man vastadu oka white man vastadu ఆ వైట్ మ్యాన్ ఒక వైట్ పుస్తకం తీసుకొస్తాడు ఆ వైట్ పుస్తకంలో నల్ల అక్షరాలు ఉంటే వన్ వైట్ మ్యాన్ విల్ కమ్ హీ విల్ బ్రింగ్ ఆ వైట్ బుక్ ఇన్ దాట్ వైట్ బుక్ దెర్ విల్ బి బ్లాక్ లెటర్స్ అండ్ దోస్ బ్లాక్ లెటర్స్ ఆర్ ద లెటర్స్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ట్రూ గాడ్ ఒక నిజమైన దేవుడు దే కాల్ దట్ వన్ ట్రూ గాడ్ ఇన్ సాహు లాంగ్వేజ్ సాహు లాంగ్వేజ్ యాజ్ గుయ్ షా గుయ్ షా గుయ్ షా మీన్స్ ద క్రియేటర్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ in lahu language in lahu language it means the creator of the wo- ha- whole world has certain laws and that's lo- those laws are brought by a white man in a white book it's in black letters so they were waiting for that book to come they were waiting for that uh, uh, that white man to come so these people they live on mountains and as they were living on mountains one day it happened in 1892 1892 these people a group of them walked a long distance to come to a nearby town called keng tang keng tang that's the name of the town they came to the keng town a keng tang town to to sell their products vallu tayar chesina twenty vi lethe vallu pandichina twenty vi avi ammukoni paisalu teeskoni dabbulu teeskoni eldamani ochcharu as they were selling and doing all that business they found a white man a white man and they looked at him he was having a white book in his hand and he was speaking their own language lahu they were he was speaking their own language so then they they sat there they started listening to him they were able to understand what he was trying to say and i'm i'm giving this story from a book called eternity in their hearts written by don richardson eternity in their hearts by don richardson if if you if you happen to have that book read this you have about eight stories of this kind and that white man is william marcus young from nebraska william marcus young and this man was holding that book and he was reading that book to them he was actually reading to them the commandments of god as he was doing that these people from the distant mountains they said sir our people for several generations were telling a white man will come with a white book with black letters can we see that book they found the black letters they said sir with a hope in anticipation we built a place for you and we are waiting we built a place for you and we are waiting come sir come marcus young went and stayed where with them he died his th- his son continued to stay with them and he translated the whole bible into their language today if there is christianity in the northeastern part of myanmar because of this man william marcus young william marcus young says when he was praying when he was waiting in the presence of god god has asked me to come to this country called myanmar i don't know anybody there i came here to learn the language and in the market places i used to just shout very few people li- used to listen to me one day this whole group listened to me took me to their their place and there was a building that was built for me and i stayed there and i ministered to them my friends when you wait in the presence of god you will be used by god when you wait in the presence of god you will be made usable by god first you will be made usable and then god will use you my friends god has taught me to wait upon him to learn from him every message i give i spend hours 
meditating upon the word allowing god to speak to me personally so that the word should not come from my head it should come from my heart with passion with passion my friends if you can come to god or wait in his presence you will become usable and you will become useful you will become usable and you will become useful if not i'm sorry to say useless are you living a useless life as far as the kingdom of god is concerned shall we bow down our heads close our eyes the only way an useless person to become useful and usable is through waiting is through waiting if you can wait in the presence of god you can become useful and you can be usable my friends do you want to wait in the presence of god will you allow god to deal with you will you allow god to handle you will you allow god to get rid of all the useless stuff will you allow god to transform you through his word and through his spirit do you want to commit yourself god wants total commitment total commitment is not full time commitment you might be a software engineer you might be a doctor you might be a civil engineer you might be an officer you might be a public servant but still every christian is supposed to have the total commitment do you want to have that my friend would you like to say yes lord i want to commit myself i'm struggling i'm struggling to get rid of dirty stuff but now i want you to handle it take care of me lord take care of me i want to sit at your presence take your word and i want to concentrate upon you can you make a commitment my friends father god i just want to commit each and every individual who is part of this ministry who heard this message let your word work in their heart let your spirit disturb them and if anybody has committed their lives evarena tama jeevithanni samarpinchukunnatlaithe lord i i thank you so much may the work begin in them varlo ni karyamu aarambhamu agunu gaaka we give you glory and honor soon the work may happen through them vaari dwara ni karyam jarugunu gaaka in jesus name we pray amen and amen